on over to the building. Welcome back. Come on in the building for a second. I'm going to just take this little radiator over here. Uh, what I've been doing over here, this is a little barn that we have on the side of the big barn. This is where Bud used to keep his pigs and chickens and that sort of stuff. And I cleaned it all up and, and put a floor in it and put a front on it and made something out of it. Um, it was here when I bought the piece of property. Ron Corkum, thank you very much. Give me this Kubota radiator. I'm not sure what that radiator, like I think it would do a four cylinder, no problem, maybe even a six cylinder. I don't know, but that's quite a quite a nice little radiator. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Um, what I do is I have a spot where I keep stuff sometimes. And uh, the last couple years it's got out of out of hand. And what I'm trying to do now is just clean things up. You know, as Jolene looks around here, just clean things up. This is stuff that I could not throw away. I got a, I got a, a 440 there. We got a, a 413 there with two fours. I'm going to do something with them soon, maybe. I've had them for quite a while, haven't, haven't thought. Got a flathead six-cylinder there. Got a four-cylinder Model B flathead Ford there for the 32. That's just, I mean, it's kind of, a, you know, the rare engine 32. And I got a leaning tower of power six-cylinder over there. Six-cylinder. That's what I have. And I'm just trying to clean this stuff up, and uh, that's what I've been doing. But uh, the radiator I wanted to bring inside, and I want to thank Ron Corkum. We are going to do another video soon with all the packages that we're getting. We're going to open them up and share it with you and thank the people that send it. That's what we're going to do. Well, let's go in the garage and show you what I've done. Uh, I welded the cross member up. I ground the paint off the cross member. This is what I got done. Uh, as, if, let's take a look here. My baby, I'll lock the door for you, sweetheart. Jolene looks amazing today. I like her in black. Looks good in black. There we go. Uh, so what's going on is is the, 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 the plate I put on down the bottom, I welded that completely, and I ground it off nice so you can't tell. I just used the, the V in the metal itself for the, for the welding. Um, that's bolted up nice and tight and right on this side and that side. I took and uh, welded the piece on that goes underneath the transmission. Then I made a couple gussets. And how I made a couple gussets was I took a piece of paper and I just traced out underneath it. And what I mean by gusset or uh, it's integrity is if this had to bend, it would have to push down or rip this piece off. And it's there to help it from going back and forth, up and down. It's just something that sort of like life, everybody needs a little help. And that's basically what I'm giving it, a little bit of help. Um, but as I look at this, as I look at this, I said I was going to go to the rear end today. I'm not going to do that because, like I said, I ran out of gas last night. I would have probably went for it, but uh, I didn't have the metal either. Me and Jolene had to go up to the hill. We went up the hill and we went to Lori's place. We showed you that on the thing. That's where we get our metal. Um, anyways, I see this cross member here. It's a nice cross member. It's clean. It's not too much. It's not overkill. But the more and more I get thinking about it, like the more I think about the front end the, and the motor mounts and, you know, as, as you're welding it together, I have to think, is it strong enough? Is it going to bend? Is it going to flex? Is it going to do this? Is it going to do that? And it's probably going to do all of it, the above. But I'm basically, I want to build it as strong as possible. And I'm looking at this, tra the, the transmission mount. It's so nice and open there. It's, it's gorgeous. Uh, right now, this has to come out to let the engine out. Like the, these have to be unbolted. You'd have to get an engine. I have to think of all this stuff before I put it together. So when it comes times, if anything happens, this is what's got to happen. I'll have to take the hood off, put the en engine picker on the engine, hold it there, undo the motor mounts, drop them out, drop the other motor mount out, drop the transmission mount out, and then, then, then the car will be picked up in the engine, or the car will be picked up and the, the engine will go, go out from the underneath. That's basically how you'd have to work on this car. And, and if, if I ask myself or you ask yourself, that's maybe why um, all the other Bugattis are so expensive to work on because they're just a little different. Just a little different. But as I see that, um, I really, I want an X brace in the frame. Um, first time I realized how, how good an X brace was is I got my, I got my brake over here. 
on the side of the wall. I made a little stand for it. And, um, yeah, I made a little stand for it. And it seemed to be, that's quite heavy, believe it or not. It seemed to be a little rocky. So when I decided to put an X brace on the back, it, it made it a total different table compared to what I had there. Um, the little square thing with the shelf on it, you can see that X there in the back. It made it twice the table than it is there now, twice the table. So as I'm thinking about the X brace, I would like to run a piece from here, from the center of this cross member over here, bolt it on the frame. I'm going to pick a piece and weld it over, come over here and bolt it to the frame. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to X brace this frame to make it as strong as possible. I'm going to, let's, let's just get a tape measure here. I'm going to cut some metal and I'm going to go for it. And uh, the reason I'm going to go for it because it's, that's what it's telling me to do. I look at it and, and the more I talk, the more I think about, you know, a, you know, it's supposed to be a race car of its day. Uh, I, don't, I don't think the air ride is for race cars, really. Um, I don't know if you can put a torsion, uh, a sway bar on with air ride. I, I think that would be working against something, I think. I'm um, not sure, have not done that ever. Uh, there's, a, there's a good question. Has anybody ever run a sway bar with air ride? I don't, I don't know if, it, then if you can let it down or not, if it puts too much tension on things. That's a good question for my, for my people. Can you have, you, have you seen an air ride that goes down to the ground and comes back up with a sway bar on it? Because if you have, I'd like to know because I would put a sway bar on it for the handling. I just think I just think that the sway bar would work against the air ride when it goes down on the ground. I'm thinking. So this is what I'm going to do. Put my glasses on. Now I'm just I'm going to make an X brace out of this transmission mount, and the reason being is it'll make it so much stronger. Um, and as you see, as I'll do it, you'll see what what I'm going for. This has to be be able to be bolted in and be dropped out. So most likely, no doubt in my mind, I'm going to weld the, the bolts. A guy should, I heard see the guy say, weld them down there, please. And I probably am. I'm going to weld the heads of the bolts in there so then I can just take the transmission mount down. And we'll go from there. I'll take a, make a measurement. I'm just going to cut a piece 28 inches long just to get my first one going, that's all. Now, I'm going to want a cord there. I didn't get that ready, did I? Chatty, chatty. It's a beautiful day outside, as you could tell. Uh, we're working like little beavers when the sun is shining, aren't we, baby? Huh? Working like little beavers. That's what they say. you got to make hay when the sun shines. Everybody's on the fields. I've seen all. Um, I, we mostly have, generally have uh, different... Uh, yeah, people come in from Mexico. Also, I want to Mexico. That's another place that we never hollered out. They're they're fans, but we have people from Mexico that come do the fields. We have people from Jamaica that come do the fields. They're all out in the field working. And they're making making us something to eat. Happy baby. flat plate, plate, inch and a half, good strong stuff, good strong stuff we're using. It's going to be part of the transmission mount plus make that car very, uh, say have lots of integrity in the frame I'm hoping, plus when all the, the mounts of the body should be good. I'm hoping for that anyways.
I sort of, I sort of can't wait. You know, I'm gonna say can't wait because I can wait. That's the, I uh, can't wait for, you know, as as everybody gets to watch it be look like this, and as it progresses and as it progresses and as I get body feeling and I get the pain on it and it progresses and it progresses, it's gonna be some care. <laughs> it really is. It really is gonna be some care. What I'm gonna do is. I'm just going to put that on there, put that on there, wherever I feel like I'm going to be happy with it. Now, this part here, going up here, they're probably going back there. Not going to affect me none. We don't want it in there. Everything, every, everything sort of matters, you know, a little bit. Have to. I want to keep this this bar on the flat of the frame. As soon as I start getting on that that curve, it don't fit right. So and basically, yeah. So we're just gonna to go to the edge like that. We're gonna maybe bring it over. I'm gonna go right there. That's where I'm going. It's just at the start of the curve on the. I don't want to mark it there. Not even close. I want to mark it there. Looking at it a couple of times to make sure. Put my gloves on. Why hasn't Chatty got his gloves on? Yeah, I just slowed up. I got looking at it, and it just seemed like the right thing to do at that moment for that that piece to make that stronger is an opportunity to make it a little bit stronger, a lot stronger. Had to get that last cut out of that blade. I don't know why, but I did. <laughs> huh? Use her all up. Use her all up. two of these pieces I'll probably mark another one off before I do this I'm going to I'm going to weld I'm going to weld that on I'm going to weld that on right there and I'm going to bolt this side just like that so we're going to have a, an octopus for a transmission mount but uh, we'll gain a lot of integrity for it and that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking. So I'm gonna cut another one of these to get one on the back. <clears throat> that's what I'm thinking. And basically, <laughs> that's how it goes in life. If if you do not, you know, if you do not show respect, if you do not earn it, 
If you do not earn it, or integrity, if you do not earn it, you will not be shown it. Like that's basically the way it goes. You have to show it and then earn it. You kind of earn it, I guess. Yes, you earn it. It's not, it's not given, it's earned. So, in order to, you know, get respect, you have to give respect. And it's a basic process. Give and take, and do what you do to yourself, you know what I mean? Like, basically. And that's what I'm doing. Ain't a baby, huh? I just ramble sometimes, don't I? Yeah, you know, I'm kind of, you know, I, I reminisce about that. I had a talk at the school with um, some, you know, school students that do hands-on more so than book, the book merits and all that sort of stuff, and that's me in a handbag. And I did a talk there for court, and it was, just, it was a court thing I had, you know, I'd done um, to try to better myself. And, and the only reason I'd done it is because Jolene told me to do it. You know, to just do it. I was going. I just wanted to pay the money and get out of there, to be honest with you. And uh, Jolene talked me into doing it. But now, <laughs> I have been rewarded, and I'm, I'm over the moon. You know, I'm over the moon. What what has happened? Uh, Jamie Pepper is it? Jamie Pepper um, got a hold of Jolene, and um, he's the principal of this school, and uh, he was there the day. He's the big guy that you probably would put you in place if you needed it um, on the video that day. He's the big guy. And um, he, uh, he's going to give an award out to the, one of the kids that have excelled over and above. Is that what it is? Thinking outside, Thinking outside the box. I don't want to give myself too much credit. <laughs> thinking outside the box. So it's just a cardboard box and someone's thinking outside of it, okay? But anyways, he's going to give an award out, the Bad Chad Award. For Hilt's Auto Co. Award, sorry. Hilt's Auto Co. Award for, you know, going, thinking outside the box. How rewarding is that? Like... How rewarding is that? And if I keep showing respect and earning it, I, you know, I hope I keep getting it. Basically, what's what's going on? And uh, I want to thank Jamie and for his thought. Appreciate it. I'm very, I'm over the moon with that. Like, it's a big compliment. I think I bought half inch stuff, but... but. So we got two pieces, somewhat the same. I can always trim the one off because it's the outside. Just as long as I get, as long as I get, I need my marker. I got my marker on me. I got to drill two holes in this. And I, got, I could do the exact same as that. There's a bunch of holes going to be have to be drilled, not drilled, but cut. Alrighty, I'm going to bring that out to whatever the shortest one is. I'm going to put on first. Basically, it. And there. So I want a hole right here. I want a hole right there. Come on, 
marker. All right, get my plasma cutter. My hole going. Do I get my air on? Probably not. Put some air on. Jesus, did not get up fast there, didn't I, huh? After she does that and she goes out and you look out and you say, good girl, and she, you're doing a good job. Doesn't she smile, doesn't she? She just smiles. I think she's doing a great job. Which she is. Which she is. Whoop. Oh, we've, we've bought some, some lights, or Jolene has bought in some lights, some little LED lights. And they're quite amazing, like for... What, what light you get out of them, the cost of them, the ease to put them up. They're just, um, wow, they're just something else. And we, got, we, we were told by another friend, but we got, we, she got them, and uh, they're something else. They're just, they're so easy. They're so easy. Boop, boop, boop. Haven't got my bolts over here yet, but I will have. Right. When I cut a hole with the with this, I generally this is what I like to do. I like to get the hole right in the center and then go around the circles. Hit the hole in the center where you're going to mark it, and then go around the circles. Need a pair of clamps. I need. That's going to be hard to go through. Wow. I don't know if the plasma cutter will do. I need a pair of clamps. We put stuff away yesterday, cleaning up, which is a good thing. And we'll do those two first. I didn't get my bolts. What I have done, Lori on the mountain again. He has, uh, he has the the meadow depot, and uh, the recycling depot, and uh, he calls me whenever he thinks I, he has something that I think I need, and uh, he has had people come in with the nuts and the bolts from the Quonset. You know, you put a Quonset up or a steel building like that. They have nut, nuts and bolts left over or whatever, and uh, he got some, and he passed them on down the line, which is. Awesome, because I use them all the time. They're from like a Quonset steel building. I got buckets of them. Buckets! I say buckets. Good. Awesome. Now, what I have to do is do the exact same trick. Do the exact same trick with the marker. On the edge of that mount there. Just make me get on there. Right now, just trying to center this. And I'm going to pray to the gods above that that plasma cutter will go through it. That's what I'm going to do. Pray to the gods above. It's funny how if them went right to the right from the front, right to the back. <laughs> you know, you know, it depends what you need, where you're going, and what's going on. Let's do this. See if we can get through.
Jolene's going for an Academy Award performance with the camera. And I screwed it up. Damn it! Hoping that'll go down through. Don't know if I got it or not. Nice scripts guaranteed for life, aren't they? <laughs> Guaranteed for life. I'm hoping we can line two up and have it at the center. I'm hoping. One. There's two. Can be, can be welded if it wants to be, I guess. I'm just going to put a nut on it. It'll still be hot. No doubt in my mind. Stay down. Oh, you can if you like. Perfect, thank you. My lovely assistant. Yep. Thank you again. So what I'm going to do is now, that one's good to ready to rock and roll. I'm going to plunk it on because there's no reason for it to come off. Let's do it. And the welder head, got some gas. Napa was nice enough to deliver some gas to me. I'm going to be able to get back that far. We'll see. There we go. Pull a hamstring or something. I don't even know what a hamstring is, but I felt it. <laughs> I don't know what the gas is at. When I change the tank, I might have hit the, the regulator. And generally, the regulator, I usually have about 10 to 15 pounds on the regulator. Generally, that's what I would go for. 10 to 15 pounds. I don't know what it suggests. I don't know what it suggests. fits that so I'll leave that for now I can weld any time as far as that goes so we've got our first one on that comes off that fits because they're bolting on that's the first one's on there we go and this is exactly what I'm going to do all the way around we'll do as much as we can we're going to give away a hat or a shirt today because that's who we are. We want to thank you and appreciate you for watching and, and uh, you know, making our station something. Um, basically, yeah. <laughs> Just going to eye it up and make it look nice. Eye it up and make it look nice. It fits nice there. Yeah. 
You know what? I am going to take a measurement on this because I can get wrong so quick. It would be quick and, quick and easy to put a measurement on it just so I get it sort of the same. This one's it's hard, a little hard to tell. So at the front of that, seven and a half. And I, there's a lot of people saying about a tape measure. Uh, I use a tape measure if it's necessary. I like to do a lot of guessing and, and just looking and, and that stuff. That's, that's freedom to me. Um, if, I can put, if I can put something on the car without having to measure in it and all that stuff. Generally, you, if, you, if you take your time and take a look, uh, if, it, if it looks good, <laughs> what, what more, more do you want if it looks good? What more do you want? Um, I don't know what to say. For me, I like to just look at things and say that's okay. It's good enough. That looks really good there. Really good. I like that. I'm going to put it back to that mark. We'll get a dot in here. Just trying to put it in the center. And I'm guessing that. Guessing. I like guessing. And if you want to guess on your project, you're allowed. Like on, like, like on the the engine. Um, basically, when I put the engine in, I just put it in so it's level. And then when I just when I put it in, I just lay it back a little bit. And I always wonder why. Why do you lay it back? Well, I'm thinking that you, they want the oil. It's just like your house foundation or something. You don't want the, the water running, you know, into your house. You want it running away from your house. And on this, I guess you're getting the tilt back. You get the, ro en the engine oil running da back down into the sump that's in the back of the oil pan. I guess, basically. And the rear end, when I do the rear end, I do it level. And then I turn it down just a little tiny bit. Just because when you step on your car, first thing your rear end does go, goes up, basically. So I, I generally just put it in level. And then eye it up. I just eye it up. And I just turn, turn it down just a little tiny bit, just like I lay the engine down. Just a little tiny bit. I generally don't degree it and make it difficult. I just lay it down a little bit turn it down a little bit and generally it works out generally it works out I haven't had an issue yet um, we've, we've built quite a few cars haven't had an issue yet on that part so I'm, I'm going with it you know what I mean when you get a recipe and it works <laughs> stick with it stick with it generally that's what I that's what I try to do stick with it Sorry, sweetheart. Just gonna get so much hose here. So I got that there. We got two more of these. No, nope, have to mark that. Where am I going? I took off too fast. Might as well cut these ones out. That'd be a hot little nugget in the, in the old boot, wouldn't it? Huh? Be a hot little nugget. I remember in, in school we'd have this. It was a little tool called. What was it called? A nibbler, and it would make all these little fingernails. Almost they look what they looked like. They'd make all these little fingernails. And what you would do is you get a handful of them, and then you give them to buddies bum crack when he's bent over and uh, he'd have a hell of a time for the rest of the day. <laughs> rest of the day. <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to make it. <laughs> Won't hit you. Okay, we're going to go from there. I still have the front to do. That is the mark, isn't it not?
Excuse me, sweetheart. Another one there. Come on, Chetty. I guess one will do. One will do. That's still hot. Can you put your fingers on top of that, baby? No, I want to do the other one first. Sorry, excuse. And the reason being is, just I don't know why the reason is. I gotta take this damn glove off. I'm gonna go get another one in the and put it on there. <laughs> Let's go for it. Do to do to do to do to do to do to do. Yeah, I'm playing with the, the storage containers on the other side. I'm trying to get that all situated and move things around so I can get a couple cars in there. It's going to be nice to be able to look at them. It really is. You know, they've been tucked away for quite a while. And it's just like it's going to be nice to see them again. Sweetheart, that works. Okay, now I'm going to turn the welder on and tack that one on because that's where that's going. If I didn't say it, all the bolts will be. I'll have to take them back out because they get a little rubber washer on them, but they'll all be tacked in place. And when you pull that transmission pan or transmission mount down, it's all it's a big spider. No worries. She's going for an Academy of Warrants performance today, boys, walking around this mess. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's what it's all about. Look at that, fits beautiful. Right on the end of that mat. Woo! Love it! Did I put that ground on, did I? I did. Just trying to slow myself up. Trying to put a good tack on it to hold it in place. Awesome. Make that all one if I can. And so we know it all fits as I have the you know, because I have that in there and we know it fits. Shut that off. I wonder if I should have just made four of the same. Probably should have. And I still can. I still can. Wouldn't mind coming up here a little bit. Like, getting as far as I can would be nice. Actually. What's that? Yeah, but the 28 is the length that we had, we used. Yeah, I can make a perfect X there. If I... Yeah, let's try that. Seven and a half. That might work out quite nice. You know, I can bring it up here further too, eh? I can bring it up here further, which gives it a bigger X. And there's, oh, there's more than one way. Like I said, there's, <laughs> you know, what can I say? There's more than one way to do it. This is just the way I'm doing it. Seven and a half. Seven 
Do I want to, you know, do I want to venture up further? You know, up this way further? You know, it all depends. I think the X is going to be fine. I'll just do it that way. Keep it, keep it simple. They say keep it simple, Simon? Is that the what? Oh, I keep it simple. I don't want to be called stupid. I'd rather be called Simon. <laughs> Truth away. Have you ever heard it? All righty, we've got two more pieces. We've got time to put them in? Okay, we'll try to get them two more pieces done. All the, all the camera does is put me to work. Put me to work. Okay, put the other piece in there. Cut a 28. I should have maybe. Yeah. I got one, one end on there. It's too bad I didn't have the long end on there. But I got one end on there. Got another one. And then we'll just lay it up underneath and trace it again. that too heavy hurt myself there he is ah, don't do that come on now when I cut that I want that line when you look at that I want that line if I cut that I'm going to do all the markings this time. <sighs> While I have it here, I'm going to do <sighs> even do the, the holes. Can I get it? Can I get it? You ever see the light? Ha ha ha! Got her. I used that to stop, didn't I, Beth? Huh? Didn't I, Beth? I should mark that again. Look, I'm running away with that again. Should mark that before it took off. Mark this one. Yeah. 
if it's a little bit long, it doesn't matter. We can shear it off on the outside, the frame rail, on the outside part. I'm going to drill some more holes. And with that rubber mount there like that, we can adjust if we want it down a little more or up a little bit more. It all depends on what you want to cut the rubber, the rubber at. We can cut it at an inch, we can cut it two inch, we can cut it at a quarter. Um, that's basically where it's at. You can adjust that at any, any way you wanted to suit, to suit you. And that's exactly what I do. I do whatever it suits me. It makes me happy. You know, you have to be, think about it a little bit. And that's the fun about thinking about it. Will it work? Does it affect anything? Um, all that stuff. It can take you away for a long time when you're thinking about something that you're making. Um, yeah, when you come to, like, when it comes to the front end, when I first started, like I say, it would take me a long time. Like, it could take me a couple weeks or a month to figure out what I needed or where to start or what I was looking for. <laughs> After you do a little bit, you know, a little bit more and more, I'm getting better and better and better all the time, you know. And it's basically, it's how fast you can overcome your issue. That's basically how long it takes you, if it takes you to build a car. If you can overcome the issue quite quickly, it's, yeah, faster you get. Well, my... We'll washer everything nice, like flat washer. Everything should have a flat washer on it. I'm not a big lover of lock washers. I like a lock nut with the with the with the plastic. I don't mind those, but a flat washer is fine. It's a good ad for you, vice grips. Bad Chad uses vice grips. They're guaranteed for life. <laughs> huh? Hit me up, vice grips. Hit me up. Jolene knows. Gutter's the last thing that goes on it, baby. Huh? Gutter's the last thing that goes on. Come on. Just want to nut it up and get it in place. Then I know it will fit. Turn on the welder. Trade helmets. Then we got one more to go. How's that? And this stuff will be welded up, grounded off. Well, ground up somewhat so it looks the best it can. The best again. We might, someone asked, we, can, we might cap those in. It'd probably be a good idea where it could get full of dirt for sure. I might just angle back on a 45 and then cover it that way instead of straight up and down just to make it look nicer. <laughs> I gotta turn the welder on. <laughs> Mexico is another place I've seen. Hola. Just say hi. Hola! Just 
want to make it make it right. Hard me to see in there. Come on, Teddy. Still hot. <laughs> Alrighty, there's there's that one. Off to the next one. Stay with us. We're going to give a hat away or a shirt away. Hat or a shirt away. Now I'll probably have a hard time getting that grinder off, see? I'm using it so rough. Not getting that disc off, probably. I was thinking, you know, as I as I'm building this car, and, uh, and I'm showing showing you guys exactly what I'm doing, how I fail, how I overcome, how I think. <laughs> I often wonder. I often wonder about what the what the car dealers what they do, like the car people that are designing them, fabricating. They must <laughs> fail and do things exactly. They have to do it the exact same way as what I'm doing it. They would have to if you're building a new car, because not everything would work perfectly, especially when you're building something new, you know. It's, it's all trial and error. I don't care who builds the car. It's trial and error. You might have some education and knowledge, but when you're building a brand new car, it's trial and error. See, when it jumps off, it scratches the metal, and then when you go to prime it, you have to deal with that. <laughs> Basically that simple. Now, we're on this side. We should be a little bit closer now, get things rocking and rolling. Don't mean it's going to be faster, by no means. All the same steps got to be taken. Marker out of my pocket. Beautiful. Wow, beautiful. You are Jolene. Jolene's so beautiful. That makes me happy too. <laughs> Why shouldn't it? Huh? Should be allowed to say that, shouldn't I? What's that, baby? Yes. <laughs> She's so good to me. Keep me straight. I gotta do the holes first, boys. I gotta do the holes first. I gotta do the holes first. Come on. Order of operations here. Order of operations. I was going too fast. I was welding her in. I had her already done. Boop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba. I got this thing. Here's the little rough I have. Don't 
Going on the same ground, man. Slow color down. Anything to slow color down, huh? <clears throat> Marker. We're going to give away a hat and a shirt today. So as soon as I punch a couple holes and tack this on, we'll do it. We'll do it. And I just, I just, I just, what happened here is I just seen a chance. What is, I see, I guess I seen a chance for maybe just a little bit um, of integrity that I can put in this car with a simple X brace. It's right there. It was right in front of my face. And I went, and I went for it. That's basically the end of it. I look at that again. I moved that before I. Yeah, it was basically right there in front of my face, and I went for it. Anytime you can x brace something and you think you need it, go for it. That's what I'm doing. Maybe a couple more bolts. You know, a couple more nuts. Huh. We're getting close, we're getting close. Need a couple more nuts. No, I'm not nuts, I need a couple more. <laughs> Join, does your arms get tired when you hold the camera like that? You feel it after an hour? You're used to it? Because it's an awkward thing. You have to hold your, you know, it's, it's an awkward thing. Or it's not an awkward thing. It's a, it's a thing where you have to hold your arms in the air for an hour. Ha <laughs> ask yourself at home, can you hold your arms in the air for an hour? <laughs> when the camera people were here, when they were doing their thing, their cameras like were vicious amounts of weight, and they would do it for 12 hours a day. Ugh. You'd want to hope that you were filming something that you were liked, <laughs> wouldn't you? Dun, dun, dun. I'll just jam that in there so I can hold it still. Put that one in there.
Now what I'm going to have to do is, is I'm going to finish welding that. I'll finish welding that. I'll take all the plastic washers off the bolts, put them back in. I'll place them. I'll weld the tops of the heads on so they don't have to come off. When the transmission plate comes out, you have to take all of them off. There'll be uh, there's six on this side, six on that side. You got 12 bolts to take off. Take the transmission mount out and one in the center. But I'm I'm thinking that this is really going to make this is really going to make some integrity in that chassis, and and uh, it doesn't look bad either. It doesn't look bad. Um, it's just something that we need to make it look better. Let's give away a hat or shirt, hey, everybody. Let's give away a hat or shirt. Whatever you enjoy. Today is Tuesday. Today's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. We're going to give away a hat or shirt. Doesn't matter how many comments they are. And we will answer the question if there's a question there. I've taken the transmission mount to a different level. And I'm happy that I've done it. We're going to get lots of integrity out of it. And I, I, I think it'll look okay. I think it'll look okay. It's what Jolene always does on this on this computer. And she does the thing where you press a button and, and it gives you the winner. So we have no favoritism, no favoritism. I generally have a motto is treat everybody the same. Nobody um, is any different than anybody else. No higher, no lower, no nothing. Um, that depends on you. Five forty-six. I'm happy with that. Thank you very much for all the all the all the all the support. You know, maybe we'll go for the rear end tomorrow. Kirk Hamilton. Kirk Hamilton. No point looking back. You're not going that way. You got that right. You should certainly take lessons from your past, but don't dwell on it. You got that right. Great job, mate. Coming along nicely. Can't, com or can't comment on how Jolene looks. Well, I can. She's mighty fine. Uh, didn't see her today, but I'll take your word that she's looking amazing. Have a great day. She does look amazing. And thank you, Kirk Hamilton. You sound like my kind of guy. He said it all in a nutshell, did he not? What we, what, we, what we talk about is generally what you generally are. You know what I'm saying? That's why I always say, I, I like the computer because when, when someone writes a comment that tells you exactly who they are, tells you what they're thinking about, tells you, what, tells you everything. Whatever, whatever you write on the computer or you, whatever, that's who you are. You know your shit. Have a good day, everybody. I made that transmission mount just a little bit better because there was a chance to. And um, I'm always looking for integrity when it comes to building something. You have to. If you do not, um, without integrity, all your hard work will mean nothing. I've said that before. Believe me. Have a good one.